Super Bowl Sunday. It's the afternoon. This is the last thing I expected to be doing, but I am so grieved over the way CNN is reporting things, calling Ted Cruz a liar, even questioning his integrity or intimating this could even hurt his campaign. Now, I'm going to address things as clearly as I can. I want to say at the outset, I'm not speaking on behalf of the Cruz campaign. This is just me, Michael Brown. Yes, I've endorsed Senator Cruz. Yes, I believe in his integrity. But this is just me speaking. It doesn't mean I agree with everything the senator does. For example, the mailer that went out in Iowa. I don't like that. I wish that never happened. And there's no question that misinformation was sent out by some members of the Cruz team during the Iowa caucuses when, Pre when Senator Cruz found out about it, because he didn't know about it. When he found out about it, he apologized privately, publicly several times now. But we all wish that that never happened and went out. But CNN, and calling him a liar, is blatantly misrepresenting the facts and is either lying outrightly or in complete denial of the reality of things. Let's also do away with this idea that, that Cruz stole the election. There is zero evidence that there was a shift in votes that actually affected the outcome of the election. Let's remember that also, okay? So here's what happens, all right? We all know the story. 643, Chris Moody tweets out, he's a senior CNN correspondent. First tweet, Ben Carson will likely speak at his victory party in Iowa before caucus results are in so he can catch a flight. Followed by, remember, tweets are short, 140 characters, so you can only say so much in a tweet. Followed by this, Carson won't go to New Hampshire slash South Carolina, but instead will head home to Florida from some R&R. &R. He'll be in D.C. Thursday for the National Prayer Breakfast. Followed immediately by, Ben Carson's campaign tells me he plans to stay in the race beyond Iowa, no matter what the results are tonight. Now, you also have to remember with a tweet, someone may retweet one of those tweets. That's the only one you see. You're not on his feed. You're not looking at all of these. The one that got tweeted more was the one saying that Carson won't go to New Hampshire, South Carolina. That's the word that got out. Okay, but that's the minor part. That's the minor part because how many people actually saw this tweet? How many actually followed it? Hundreds, maybe some thousands, not hundreds of thousands, not millions, okay? So what happens is when these tweets are going out, CNN now wants to report this. It is Wolf Blitzer with Dana Bash and Jake Tapper. And they call it twice breaking news. Our man, Chris Moody, they want to emphasize that twice. They call it breaking news. Three times they refer to it as very unusual news. And then they say it is very significant news. What? That he is not going on to New Hampshire, South Carolina. Listen, I've interacted with people that saw that report on TV. And, and they said, yeah, we thought he was dropping out. We thought Carson was dropping out. So someone on the cruise campaign hears about this. How do they hear? Could be the tweet initially, but then they see the news report. That's what Ted Cruz was referencing. CNN keeps putting these tweets up. We made it clear from the start. You did not make it clear from the start on television. That's the whole thing. That's what Ted Cruz is saying. It's amazing with all these talking heads, with all these pundits that nobody understands that Ted Cruz is, said, Ted Cruz is saying there was a TV report that got out, breaking news. That's what he referenced in the debate, referred to it as breaking news. And CNN never clarified that Carson was staying in the race, that he was just taking a break, that he was not suspending his campaign. And the initial report that was sent out by, by the Cruz people, again, it's regrettable that anything went out and Cruz apologized when he found out about it. But, but the initial report that went out saying the press is reporting that Dr. Ben Carson is taking time off after Iowa and making a big announcement next week. The big announcement was probably confusing something Jake Tapper had said about an announcement that he was going to be making. But he's taking time off after Iowa. That was accurate. What was it based on? A TV report which followed the tweet. Now, here's the big thing. I reached out to several different people at CNN, interacted with their PR department. And I said, can you see how that initial report could have given the impression that something was up, that Dr. Carson was suspending his campaign or possibly dropping out. No, there's nothing we said that could give that impression. Problem, Chris Moody, your man, felt it important to immediately clarify in his tweets that Ben Carson, his, his team says he's staying in the race. Why did Moody need to say that? CNN, when did you pass that on? 
you passed on the information from the prior tweet. You did not pass on the information from your own man. Not only so, but minutes after that, Jason Osborne from the Carson campaign, he sends out a tweet that his man is staying in the race, that he is not dropping out. Why? Because people saw the CNN report. That's what Senator Cruz is referring to. And that's what people saw. They saw that report on TV. And now Jason Osborne is trying to put out a fire. Not only so, 45 minutes later, Chris Moody puts out another tweet. Folks, Ben Carson is just making a brief stop at home in Florida tonight, and campaign says he'll be back on the campaign trail by Wednesday. Okay, let's think about this for a minute. Chris Moody sends out two clarifying tweets. CNN sends out no such information on TV. Who's giving out the misleading information? CNN. Jason Osborne from Carson's campaign twice says our man is not dropping out. What fires is he trying to put out? The ones started by CNN. And obviously on the Cruz team, initially it's passed on the information, then it gets exaggerated, then it's absolutely incorrect. What's sent out uh, via email or via tweet or via, via phone call, that's wrong, shouldn't have happened. Again, regrettable. When Ted Cruz found out about it, he apologized for it. But when he got up at the debate, what he said was accurate. Now, I want to just take one more minute and clarify this. This is the level of conversation that went on on that TV report with CNN. Dana Bash says, Chris Moody is breaking news. Our Chris Moody is breaking the news. All right, breaking news twice, very unusual news, three times, very significant news, one time. And, and then Dana Bash says this, look, if you want to be president of the United States, you don't go home to Florida. I mean, that's bottom line. That's the end of the story. If you want to signal to your supporters that you want it, that you're hungry for it, that you want them to get out and campaign, you've got to be out there doing it too. And he's not doing it. It's very unusual. Hey, Ben Carson was there at their campaign Saturday night at the debate. Everything seemed perfectly normal. I guess this really very significant news wasn't that significant after all. And then CNN, minutes after this, uh, after the Cruz campaign sends things out, CNN tweets out, uh, after the Iowa caucus, Ben Carson plans to take a break from campaign. They're still sending it out without saying he's not suspending his campaign. Now, there's an article. There's an article on the American thinker, William Tate, February 5th, CNN owes Ted Cruz an apology. Ted Cruz said that CNN didn't clarify things until several hours later. They said, no, no, we immediately did but via tweet. No, on TV, you never did. I asked CNN, please tell me, I wrote to them before I addressed any of this, please tell me when you clarified. Well, we didn't have to because I said, no, no, your guy tweeted out two things. You only gave part of the message. When did you give them the second part? They didn't for hours. Here's what happens. Anderson Cooper brings it up. This is later in the evening. They still have not clarified. And now Anderson Cooper, what are they saying? They're saying, look, he said he's just going to get some clothes in Florida. That's the craziest explanation they ever had. And, and they're saying, look, is he dropping out? Maybe he should drop out. Who's going to get the votes? Cruz, so you're watching CNN. What are you thinking? It's probably over for Ben Carson. So CNN, have some integrity. Here's all you have to say. We regret that our initial report failed to make clear that Dr. Carson was not dropping out of the race or suspending his campaign. We regret that information was not made clear. That would be integrity. Instead, you're trying to crucify Senator Cruz. You're calling him an outright liar. Uh, Jake Tapper uh, earlier today is asking uh, Donald Trump, hey, maybe there's more. I mean, maybe there's more dark side of his character, however it's being put. This is absolute nonsense. This is not worthy of tabloid journalism. CNN, own it. Acknowledge it. You did wrong.